What's good with your world, y'all? This is Lyndon from Zerns We Gone. I'm, come, I'm about to clean the bathroom, uh, primarily the toilet area. I'm gonna let you know some of the, the tools you may need. All right? So, Crisol, probiotic cleaner. Works great, excellent, best cleaner I've ever worked with. Microfiber cloths, these right here from Costco. Kirkland Signature brand. Nice and thick, they last a long time. Clean them, wash them, do whatever. You know, they're cheap enough too, so if they get really bad, toss them, throw them away, buy some new ones. Next is a spray bottle. Home Depot style, you know what I'm saying? Uh, $1.50, $2 for a spray bottle. Get one that's decent quality, please. You don't want to be sitting there spraying the trigger and all of a sudden, boom, it's not working. When you're in the process of cleaning, bad, bad, bad scenario. So get something that's decent. Spend a couple bucks. And lastly, a toilet brush. That toilet brush right there. I do recommend softer bristles, uh, uh, maybe even a, a sponge head if, if you can find one. Um, that way uh, you can limit the scratches. So the first step is to remove all the stuff from the little bathroom area that's here by the commode, as you can see. Trash can, usually present, set it outside. Area rug, present, you know, set it outside. Scale, present, set it outside. Pick up any little trash that you may find around the toilet as well. That's going to give you plenty of workspace because you're going to be... You gonna be getting down in the, in the corners and the baseboards and all that kind of stuff. It also signals to the members of your household, roommates or whatever, yo, I'm cleaning in here. You might want to chip in and do something else elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good way to prompt somebody to clean. You start cleaning yourself. Lead by example. Now, without further ado, let's get to cleaning this toilet. All right, so as you can see, the toilet looks kind of bad. One of the first things you're gonna do is basically you're gonna take your spray bottle, boom, and you're just gonna start spraying. Put it on a little screen, right? Putting that toilet water right there. You don't need too much cleaner inside the toilet at all. I'm gonna put it on the string. I'm gonna get the top of that joint. I'm gonna spray that handle. Then I'm gonna start lifting up the seat. You know, you got pee right there. Boom, you're gonna get that. Get all that. Get the rim. And now, something that you might not, not do most, most of the time or quite often, is get down here real low to the ground. Bam, still with the stream on. Start hitting them baseboards. Start hitting the corner, start hitting that base of that toilet. Most people skip this step. Most people just get the inside of that toilet and that's it. No, 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 no. You've got to do more than that. Bam. Hit that corner. Come over here and hit this corner. Now, we are ready to hit the inside of that toilet. Grab our brush here. Bing. Just start getting it, you know. You'll find that a lot of places have extremely hard water. These are some mineral deposits mixed in with some germs, some biofilm, that kind of thing. But I'm gonna get all up underneath here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to throw that cleaner everywhere I can. I'm gonna sanitize all surfaces. Right, there's the toilet, get inside here. You wanna throw that in there several times. Boom, get it in there, twist. Get it in there and twist. All right. Now what we're gonna do is, we're not gonna flush that yet. We're gonna let that marinate for a little bit. And in the meantime, we're gonna move on to the next step. We have, we have a microfiber cloth. Right now, we're gonna take it, we're gonna do this, because we already sprayed it down, right? We already have solution on there, it's already, uh, not that, oh, I did hit that, that's okay. We're gonna get the side of the tank, the front of the tank, all this, right? Get the top, got the handle already, we're gonna get the part where the back goes. Throw it in there, finger like this. Got my finger in there, corner, all the way down to the side, bam. This seat right here. As you can see, I'm, just, I'm basically just working myself from the top all the way down to the bottom. So we get all the nooks and crannies. See, see these little areas, these little, little areas? These, this is what gets nasty. This is what makes a, a clean toilet look dirty and a dirty toilet look even dirtier. These little areas right here. So we wanna get all that. We're gonna brush it all down to the ground. It doesn't matter. Why? Because we're gonna come back through with that microfiber cloth number two. So I'm gonna come over here on the, the bowl side. So we're gonna hit all these areas down here. These little areas get dusty. A lot of urine goes down here. So if you have a lot of urine smell in your bathroom, check these areas and clean them out. Put the cap back on, bam. All right, so now we're done with this microfiber. I'm gonna spray this directly. I'm not gonna hit the floor yet. With the door handle, on both sides. We're gonna drag our finger, boom. Hit this baseboard, hit the corners. 
Make, make the best board look good, make the corners look good, get all the crud out of there. You know what I'm saying? Hit all this. Now we come over here just systematically, methodically. Hit all areas of it. Get behind the toilet. Now you ain't got to be back there for a while, see? Renters, if you want to get your deposit back, you got to clean like this, bro. If you have to. I've done a lot of move, move outs in my career. Every property manager looks for the same stuff. There's no, there's no surprise, no secret. Follow the blog, follow my videos, all that kind of stuff. You want to learn more. We'll put together a whole series how to maximize your deposit and get all that back. Teach you how to clean, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real.